Hey guys, welcome to my first YouTube series ever. So I'm gonna try and keep this brief, but basically I've always messed around with a lot of cars and boats and a lot of my friends have recently said I should make a YouTube series because some people might be interested in it. There's a lot of other people making these this sort of series, so I thought I'd give it a crack. So this is mine. My first project is going to be a trailer boat. It's gonna be around the length of about five meters that I hope to have finished by the end of this year. Basically, I'm gonna buy one that's in really poor nick do it up and record and document the whole thing in a series of episodes. Hopefully they're all informative, they're all gonna cover a different topic like a trailer repair or a fiberglass repair or an engine rebuild or something like that. Something that other people can benefit from. So next video is probably gonna be me looking for a boat. So we'll get right onto that. And oh, also hit the hit subscribe button to my channel if you'd like any updates or any other information on the videos. See you soon made one of these recordings every time that I've actually found a boat on Gumtree or Facebook classifieds or something that's been worth going to have a look at and having then gone to look at it and well finding out that it was rubbish and having to keep hunting around but I found another one now this is it here it is a Haynes Signature 530F and that's it there no just kidding that's not it that's what it would look that's what it would have looked like one day this is the one I'm looking at. Uh, you don't get much, a bare trailer by the looks of it and no engine, but he's only asking about $7,000 for it, which is way, way underpriced. And he's telling me it's got a pretty solid hull. So the next step is to go and have a look at it. And if you are watching this video, it probably means that, well, it does mean that this is the boat that I end up buying. If this video is on YouTube and you're watching it on YouTube, I've bought this boat. So the next step is going to have a look at it and you'll see that soon. I believe that we are here and I believe that is my boat. So I just pulled it into his shed to get a bit, of a bit of a better look at it and it's not as great as I've been led to believe but um I suppose that's sort of expected. Things like this that's oh that's a bit bit loose. Um, the main one that I see is actually down in here. Uh, the hull has come away from this rib. But again, it looks... They do have a bit of a tendency to do this um, if there's like a natural tension in the rib. Just see that then. Yeah. More fibro repairs with the hulls. Mine's actually pretty bad. The rest of it's okay. The, the big one that I had a good look at just before is the transom, and that's that's solid. Um, and there's no stress fractures around the back, other than like oh, a few little ones down in there. So it looks doesn't look too bad. I'm I'm probably gonna offer him a fair bit less to see. Um, see what he says. I've lowballed him four and a half and he texted right back and said how about five. So that's well going to cover that gain that two and a half thousand dollars less. That's well going to cover any of the fibro repairs that are going to need to be done on the boat. So we're back in the shed now. We finally made it home. We had no lights, no trailer brakes, no registration and that wheel bearing is fried. And it poured the whole way home. But we made it 400 kilometers back down the Queensland coast and the boat is back in the shed. Anyway, we sort of reached the second, second sort of setback already. I was walking around here, I don't know how I didn't notice it before because I was jumping all on the floor of it, but the floor here is really soft. So whatever's in there, I'm assuming it's just um, ply sandwiched in between two layers of fiberglass has perished. So this whole um, this whole panel is going to have to come up, and well, we'll see what we're dealing with. And my guess is that if that one's gone, this one isn't far behind. So we're looking at we are now looking at some pretty extensive fiberglass repairs, but it happens. So um, not going to mess around. I'll get straight in, drill some of this out, and see what we're dealing with. So I've had to think about it and I thought, even though originally I was gonna start with the fiberglass repairs, 
it's probably best if we have this boat mobile and actually you know able to tow it around so the next episode or the first actual build episode that's going to be getting into the trailer so that's it for this episode but um yep as of tomorrow we're starting on the trailer repairs see you soon